going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So, I am in my car. Turn this, there we go. It's windy, and I don't know. It is just blowing that trash can. <laughs> that lid back there, I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, it was earlier. But it's very windy. Amarillo, the panhandle. It's no, it's notorious for its high winds, but yeah. So today I am. Uh, I need to retain. I need to replace the shocks on me on my uh, 2011 Peterbilt 386. Um, if you have a 384, I'm, I'm pretty sure all change out the shocks. It's the same process. You got a bolt or a stud on top, and a bolt and the stud on on the bottom. That's it. For me, for the Peter, I, for what I seen, uh, the Peter belts, it's usually the stud is built into like the frame, and it's stuck in that position. So we literally had to just take off two bolts, two nuts, and uh, that's it. Uh, for the freight liners, the Cascadias, and all that, I seen that you had to re remove, um, just like a car. Some cars you gotta take remove the stud and the nut to take off the the shock so for my peterbilt it's easier um i did not go with the packers or peterbilts i'm going with these uh bulldogs um i saw these at my chrome shop um i want to give them a try i heard bad things about those uh what are they called? The Gabriels or some something like that? And um yeah, I wanted to give these a try. So that's the part number. And this is going off this is like I said, this is going on my 2011 Peterbilt 386. Um a lot has changed as in me working wise. But I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. So I'm just gonna talk about doing the shocks. And um, you can get these shocks online. Um, if they sell them on Amazon, I'll put a link. You guys, where you guys can get them. I'm pretty sure you guys could get them on Amazon. Maybe even cheaper. Uh, especially at Prime, you get the free shipping. So there you go. Um, obviously, if you need the shocks right away, you probably got to go to your local uh, truck parts. But if you guys see that they're going bad, I'll probably put an order on Amazon. Get it cheaper, free shipping, and maybe at Prime. And who is calling me? I don't know. My wife is calling me, so I will be back. All right, back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, so let's change out these shocks and not get blown away by this weather because it is pretty bad. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. So, as in... The passenger side looks very, fairly easy. Driver side, same shit, same thing. We just gotta probably turn the steering wheel. But I already took off the bolts, or the, the nuts. It's one up there, one down there. They're both 18 millimeters. Um, then this. Um, can you guys hear how windy it is? Anyway, so I'm gonna pry it off. So if you guys don't, I have my impact. If you guys don't have an impact, that's fine. Use a breaker bar because you probably will need to use a breaker bar. Obviously, you're going to need a half inch um, ratchet, a pry bar because I'm going to pry it. Uh, it's up to you. You can cock the wheels if you want to. I have the, obviously the air brakes on. So, yeah. So, let me uh, pry that off real quick. And I did have some anesthes. You don't have to use it, it's up to you. But in the future, it will make it a lot easier when taking off um, these uh, nuts. And make sure you guys do put back on this uh, the spacer, or I want to call it maybe like a bushing cover, you know? Maybe, but it's like a little spacer or washer, so make sure you guys do that. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty windy. So let me do that before I get blown away. Let me take this off. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I was able to compress it with no effort and it's barely going back up so um 
it was bad it is what it is you know um if you guys are having bad steering no let me take that back if you guys are in a bumpy road and those bumps are just throwing you you know around on that on the highway it's probably that's probably your culprit right there you're just shocked change them out very easy you guys don't have to take us to a mechanic i understand you know you guys want to get done professionally done but hey as an owner operator we gotta save us some money you know this right here when a mechanic will charge you an hour of labor work who knows how much he's gonna try to upsell you on the shocks you know what i mean so it's very simple guys very simple so i'm trying i'm here trying to make this video so you guys can save some money um, obviously for an owner operator if you're a company driver you, you just call your company and let them know what's the problem um, i will put some like anesthes right here not a lot well maybe not because this was having a hard time sliding back and forth but i'm leaving leaving that there i need to take off this old bushing and that's it so i'll put on the new one a little bit all right guys so the easiest way that i could that will probably be easier for you to put these on is as soon as you get these brand new beautiful shocks do not take this off okay this right here is going to be your your best friend when putting these on so what you want to do is what i did place it on the bottom slide it all the way in once you have it on then slide this uh this i guess this plastic piece or whatever it's it's holding it down as soon as you take it off the shock absorber is going to want to expand and then obviously once you see it expanding when you, once you see it expanding place it where it needs to go that way you're not having to fight it uh fight it that way you're not having to fight it to put it into play put it in place and um that's it very easy now i just gotta put on that cover that spacer or washer whatever you want to call it and then uh we're good to go and that's pretty much it right there oh yeah it's looking good it's looking good so uh let me put that on tighten her up and then um i'll show you guys what i'm talking about the driver's side where we might have to turn the steering wheel just a little bit not a lot so i will be back all right so this is what i'm talking about where we might have some trouble so I'm just gonna turn the wheel to the left so that way I can get my impact in here or I'll probably turn it to the right instead. Yeah, I'll probably turn it to the right and see what that does. But other than that, like I said, it's very simple job guys, it's very simple. Especially if you guys have an impact gun, get you one. If you're an owner operator, you guys already know, tax write-off for tools. You guys already know that. still get one it's still a tax write-off because you're using buying tools to help operate for that company oh man it's so windy okay so let me turn her on <laughs> you know what i mean turn her on no, i'm just kidding let me turn her on turn the wheel and then um i'll get back to talking about the other shock which same thing as the other side but yeah i'll be back guys difference and 
and obviously the old shocks which I compressed it and it is not going back up bad see bad it's not even trying to go back up and if it is nope it's stuck stuck in that position so yeah so it was time for new shocks no shocks meet the trash can and that's it no way so hope that helps, helps you guys out obviously you guys probably already know about doing this you guys probably seen thousands of videos but i didn't do my video you know my own video on these shocks is the worst so, like always guys smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed um, i will be coming up with coming out with more videos different views video. Peace out.